Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss few more snowflake interview questions and answers. This is the part 15th from snowflake interview questions and answers playlist. Question 1. What is the output of below query? Here is the query. Select 0, part number, comma, split, underscore, part and string. And this is the split by period operator. And what is the position of from that string union like that I have given four queries from from the same string but positions are different basically this split part splits the given string it is specified character and returns the required part so now here zero part and here first part second part third part and fourth part fourth part Please note that given string has only three parts. This is the part one, part two, part three. Between separated by dot, okay, or period. The output or answer is see for zero part is the triple one. That means the moment when you try to split by zero, then here it takes the first one okay part one and uh, if you give the first okay and first part and if you give the second second is the this one triple two okay and third is the three three fourth part which is not present from the given string so no output that means empty or null we can say another question scenario this is the stage okay create okay and in this stage please note that this is the external stage and here these are the files okay dept1 sorry dept dept1 dot csv dept underscore with the date there total four files are there two files are with the date and two files without the date okay on top of by using this stage here Assume that we have created a external table. Create or replace external. Please note that this is a external table. Table name and here we have a columns like date part. Date part is fetching from extracting from metadata dollar file name and another one is the TS timestamp and D name is the where care. Okay. So this partition by date part location. This is the location which okay and uh, auto refresh is equal to false file format equal to csv skip adder is equal to one so table dept underscore ext underscore tpl successfully created now question is what is the output of below query the query is here alter external table table name refresh the answer is see Two files dept1.csv registered failed status. If you see status register underscore failed for this file and for this files also register underscore failed. What about other two files? Two files are valid files with having the based on the syntax. Uh, okay. Uh, while creating the table based on that syntax, the other two files are satisfied. See here if you see the description file registration failed error evaluating partition column date and under, date underscore part so for the two files date part evaluation of date part is correct that's why the two files are registered but for these two files there is no date for uh, date as part of the file names hence registration failed that means the moment when you extract the data query the data from this table okay data will be queried from only valid files that means registered files not failed register these files are not registered to this external table because of error evaluate evaluating partition column because there is no such date part from file names next uh, scenario see use role sysadmin create database db1 now the current database is the db1 okay after that in the same session create database db2 
database db2 successfully created now question what is the current database for this session so answer is current select current underscore database db2 please note that we in the screens whatever i have shown here we didn't say, uh, set the database current database however the moment when you create any database from the any session for that session even though if you don't set the database whatever you have created recently most recently that database would be the your current database next question what is the output of below query select a date from select a date from parts this is the year month and day of the month Sim like that we have a four different uh, you know dates okay so this date from parts creates a date from individual numeric components that represent the year month and date of the month so answer is here see this is the date one first column this is the date two date three date four so for date one here we have a correct one as expected see uh, 2022 February 1st and second one we are given the position day posi day as zero that means you know uh, this this is one month okay one month prior to given date say example given date if you give the 2022 February zero but zero is not a valid day hence prior to one month that means january 31st day is zero so it, it took as prior month last date okay last date is the 31st january 31st similar way here negative numbers we have given here see here for day position third one day position negative numbers okay so if you give the negative numbers then what it will do see uh, two months okay here february it's not two months one month only one month prior to but day also instead of 31st okay instead of 31st 30 okay this is the minus and fourth one minus one month and minus one day these are the invalid okay numeric values as part of month should be always 1 to 12 and day should be 1 to 31st but here minus negative numbers are there so here two months prior and two days see here um, generally december okay but here october and day is the october 31st but minus one so 30th so basically you know you have to remember i mean sometimes in real time you may get the values okay day month year separate columns and you may need to derive or extract the complete date so in that case you may use this one this date underscore from parts function would be ideal for your requirement so here this is the in components with the zero or negative numbers see here see this is the zero and these are the components are the negative numbers this is the actual expected valid day valid month and valid year but here there are different invalid or unexpected values but it may never gives the error okay next what is the output of below queries so select system dollar weight 10 call system dollar weight of 10 the answer is same for both both even okay the same this is the function built-in function so this is a you know system dollar weight here see output if you see the first query waited 10 seconds please note that the output will would display okay the moment when you run this query if it will go to sleep in 10 seconds default if you don't specify anything then it will consider as a 10 seconds so it is a sleep method equivalent to other uh, oracle database or unix operating system sleep method okay system dollar weight is nothing but a sleep method so it will sleep 10 seconds after that only the output okay waited 10 seconds the same function built-in function you can call it as part of your uh, call statement also so there is no difference between i mean in terms of output see 
call statement the right uh, 10 so uh, after waiting the 10 seconds waited 10 seconds would be the output that's all from this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click bell icon for mo more notifications like it and share it to your friends thank you once again